what, what I like be just being a musician uh, is that it's just bare bones, vocals, and one guitar. And he it's, it shows how powerful the message is. And I think that's what makes this all sad. Hey, welcome to another episode of Super Dupa. It's your boy, Poppy Vasquez, and I am going to be reacting to another song from our boy, Oliver Anthony, I Want to Go Home. Um, guys, if you were here because of the original video for uh, Richmond North of Richmond by Oliver Anthony, um, I want to thank you so much. Y'all gave me so much love. The things that you guys said in the comments touched my heart. Um, it was very nice of you guys, and I really appreciate y'all. Um, and seeing that, you know, that was a hit with you guys, I want to, you know, check my boy out here because, man, he, honestly, he's very talented, you know, outside if, if I wasn't, you know, doing this, uh, I would be listening to his music because the guy can sing. Um, and, but I'm interested in, in kind of knowing more because I know that one was very, even though he might have not had to be like politically driven, I know that it got taken over that way um, because of, you know, the things that he said. So I'm kind of interested in seeing this to see if he, uh, you know, maybe takes a step back, a little bit more traditional country, or if maybe, uh, you know, it's along the same lines. I really don't know what to um, expect. I know that this was uh, requested in the comments. So I really want to, you know, get down to it and kind of hear it. But Oliver, Oliver Anthony. I want to go home let's go hey guys before the video i do want to just educate you guys on different ways that you can support the channel um did you know that there's something called a super thanks what a super thanks is is find one of my videos you decide you like it you want to help the cause uh you could just donate on there now what do your donations do uh, it buys me more time as you guys know i do um, work a couple of jobs and I do this channel and the channel does take some of my time and I would like to give it more time So by you donating it allows me to work those jobs a little bit less and allows me to do more content Now you may say to yourself Peter times are tough and I get it trust me I know and if that's not a way you can support the channel uh, things like engagement really help So if you like the channel if you comment down below and if you share it and subscribe, those are all different ways that you can help me grow this channel. So guys, all your support is really appreciated. I thank you guys so much. Now let's get to the video. If it weren't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Cause every day living in this new world, one, two, Many days to me, son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more, and I ain't saying I know it for sure. I'm just down on my knees, begging the Lord and take me home. Damn. Fuck, I... man. Just like the first freaking few frames and and God, it's like I, I can't listen to anything this guy writes and not feel like some type of emotion uh, from it. Man, like I think uh, I think we all go through it, right? But um, he seems like a man who has lived the normal life like us. You know, we wake up, we go to work. And it's just over and over and over until someday maybe we get to retire and enjoy life, you know, sometime in the future. If we make it there, right? Because life is never promised. And uh, I feel like I've, I've, I resonate with what he said. You know, when you're living this, this life over and over, and things don't change and you do a job that you don't even want to do. Right, just to make some type of money to just have the little bit of things that you have. And sometimes you just gotta ask yourself, like, man, is this really worth it? Is this what life is supposed to be? And if it is, like, is it something that like is even worth experiencing? You know, we all have our down moments. 
And I, those first few words, man, they they just kind of hit me as a working man, you know, like, and then again, there's some working, there are working women out there too that can relate to this, you know, just the mundane everything. So I, I just, you know, I don't mean it to be in a sexist way. I just kind of like, it's, I'm looking at it through my eyes, you know, so I, I say certain things uh, with me in mind, but I know that we're not the only ones. So, ah, damn. Yeah, man. I just feel like this guy is talking to the people, man. Like the 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 real people, you know. It's like he's not sugarcoating life. I feel like music has a lot of remedies, right? And one of, one of the things that it helps remedy is making us feel better about life, right? Like that's why you know pop songs. Everybody's excited, right? And 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 you know some rap songs. Hey, yeah, we all got money, you know. And and again, sometimes with these songs help us live by curiously through these artists to make us feel that maybe someday we might be able to reach those things. I think that Oliver Anthony has broken all those things down and says, hey, like, cool, you can have those fantasies and those dreams, but this is what's really going on. This is what's what we're really feeling. You know, and just like denial is something that we use to deal with ourselves, like coping with certain things in our lives. He's taken all denial out of music, you know? At least he has for me. And I know there's a lot of people that identify with this, you know? Like just going to work and, you know, sometimes I feel like no matter how much I try to get ahead, you know, monetarily, you know, to get some type of breathing room, like that line where he's like, there's always some bill to pay. Man, that hit, that hit. Let's finish this out. Man, that TV line, you know, we're, people are like a, a herd type of people. We like community, right? We like to stick together. And I really feel like, you know, with the internet and everything, the time that we find ourselves in now is that we, we really are trying to push for an individuality, right? Everybody wants to uh, consider themselves unique, and we are, right? But even though that's what everybody's trying to do, we still can't help but find herds to be a part of, you know? And I think the TV drives a lot to be in herds on, on no, no matter which way you think about it. You're not innocent from wanting to join a group or, or, or from identifying with people, right? So it's like whoever is on the other side is just doing the same thing that you're doing, you know? And, and, you know, we're all just doing what the TV says. It's like, man, that it's true. Like we're all watching it, right? We're all tuned in, right? But we hardly ever tune out. And and a lot of our ideas are formed based on the things that make sense to us, you know? 
and the things that make sense to us, we pick these things because we feel that we're just being better people. And I think that deep down inside, people are good. And the decisions we make are based on those good intentions. But then there's always perspective for a reason. And then when we start looking at each other, it starts being like a me versus you situation. That's crazy. Damn. That's deep. That's deep, man. He's saying a lot of things. Again, he's just stripping down those ideas, man. Those those, those things. Like I think again, like just social media. It's not just artists, singers, and all that. You know, it's it's social media influencers, all this stuff. Is they allow us to live through them. Right, it's like we don't have these riches, but when we see them do all this stuff, it's it does something for us. We have uh, humans have this thing where we empathize, you know, and we we can we can feel their happiness, you know. Obviously, they're living life and they're doing all this stuff. I don't know what they did to get that, but we, but us seeing that, we live through that, you know. And this, like I like I mentioned, it just breaks everything down. I want to pull up the lyrics. Now, now, reading the lyrics is something I do on my channel, but I think one thing about Oliver Anthony's music is that, like, his music is the lyrics. I mean, obviously, it's like he's a great singer. He has a lot of passion, uh, but he very clearly articulates the words, and we we get that. So I, I feel like maybe this might be a little redundant, but, you know, so I'll just read through it and then have the finishing thoughts. But, well, if it wasn't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in a psych ward because every day living in this new world is one too many days for me. Son, you're on the brink of the next world war and I don't think nobody's praying no more. And I ain't saying I know it for sure. I'm just down on my knees. Man. Yeah, that's another thing too, man. You keep telling us that we're on, on the brink of another world war, man. That does something to people. You know, it's like they never talk about World War One and Two and really be like yeah but you know we were everybody was dying but we had a great time you know <laughs> like nobody says that you know and it's like we're so far removed from those things you know a lot of the 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 vets and a lot of these people you know that have gone through the world wars most of them are, are gone you know and and so it's like when you tell that 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 does something to a person you know especially like people that are of fighting age you know it's like most of them don't have any beef with anything. It's all these these things that these other people are talking about. But I mean, social media has done some positive and it shows us that people from all over the world, mostly we just want the same things, man. And that's just to li live peacefully, you know? And so the fact that a next world war come, it, it might be coming, guess what? Don't nobody want to fight it. Um, begging the Lord, take me home. I want to go home. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. I just know I didn't used to wake up this way, cussing myself every damn day. There's always some kind of bill to pay. People just doing what the rich man say, I want to go home. Man, a lot of truth. Now for generations, now for generations farming the ground, grandson sells it to a man out of town. And two weeks later, the trees go down, only got concrete growing around. Uh, yeah, that's wild, man. That's a that's something I don't even freaking think about. You know, I'm 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 a city boy. You know, so to think about that, that's wild. Um, I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. I just don't know. I used. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way, cussing myself every damn day. People have really gone and lost their way. They all just do what the TV say. I want to go home. If it wasn't for my old dogs and good Lord, they'd have me strung up in a cycle. 
Man, you know, I think the biggest thing, like, obviously, shout out to to Oliver Anthony, great song, great, like, everything's great, you know, and and what, what I like be just being a musician uh, is that it's just bare bones, vocals, and one guitar, and he it's it shows how powerful the message is, and I think that's what makes this all sad, that there is so much pain, sadness, anger, distress, anxiety, just all these negative feelings. There's so much of it that a man with just his words and a guitar and a powerful voice is 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 blowing up and going so viral. And it's mostly due to what he's saying, right? Like when times are good, like these things happen, right? Some people just sing so beautifully that they're just, oh, look at this amazing talent. And they go viral based on their background. And and my boy is talented. He has a great voice, right? Um, it's a very particular voice. I, I saw an interview where he said he had no uh, lessons ever. So it's, it's a voice that he's crafted. But maybe he wouldn't be as popular if he wasn't spitting out so many, so much truth. And I think that's the concerning part. The fact that so many of us identify with this so much that it finally feels like we have a voice. And that that is concerning because of how much broken people there are out there who are struggling. I don't know, guys. I I really hope that uh, the future does get better. I hope so. I hope that it doesn't get any worse. I know we're all feeling it. And, um, you know, no matter what side, because I know these things get politicized, no matter what side you find yourself on, just know that at the end of the day, us folk down here, we got to like go through this stuff together, you know, and at the end of the day, we're all we have, you know, so let's try to get along, you know, and just know that everybody's intention, you know, we pick, we pick the sides we pick because we think that that is what's best, but we're... We're not always the smartest. We're not always the most clever. So let's be lenient with others. and Let's be strict with ourselves, guys. Um, and you know what? Like this whole video, I usually do like a quote of the day, but I just feel like this whole video and this whole everything has been, has been a lesson within itself. So I'm going to take this one off, guys. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.